after learning morphological and anatomical evidence that support the theory of organic evolution. Now we are going to start with our third evidence that is vestigial organ. If you still haven't watched about our previous video in which I will explain what is the meaning of morphological evidence and anatomical evidence, you can go back and you can watch those videos. So now let us start with our third evidence that is vestigial organ. तुम्हाला तुमच्या समोरच्या डायग्राममध्ये दोन प्राण्यांच्या स्कल्स दिसत आहेत तर ती पहिली आहे एका एपची स्कल आणि दुसरी आहे ह्युमन स्कल आता या दोन्ही डायग्रामचं बारकाईने निरीक्षण करा आणि याच्यातला डिफरन्स तुम्हाला समजतोय का पहा हा डिफरन्स समजण्यासाठी आपण पाहूया दुसरी डायग्राम इन सेकंड डायग्राम आय हॅव मार्क स्कल्स ऑफ बोथ एनिमल विथ रेड लाईन रेड सर्कल अँड जॉज ऑफ बोथ एनिमल विथ ब्लू सर्कल सो वॉट डिफरन्स यू कॅन टेल द स्कल इन ह्युमन इज बिगर इन साईज बट जॉ लाईन इज स्मॉल and exactly opposite in a skull is smaller and jaw line is bigger now why this happen because this apes they eat plants leaves and that is why for mastication anna chawna sathe they need a bigger jaw line a strong jaw that's why their jaw is bigger but they don't use their brain up to that extent that's why their skull is smaller to accommodate their small brain but exactly opposite in human we use lot of brain and to accommodate big brain our skull is bigger but as we are eating cooked food that's why we don't have to masticate aplyala anna chawun chawun khana sathe खाण्याची गरज नाही आहे अँड दॅट्स वाय अवर जॉ लाईन इज स्मॉल पण त्यामुळे झालं असं की एपमध्ये ज्या मोलारच्या तीन जोड्या असतात तशा आपल्यामध्ये नसतात आपल्यामध्ये तिनाऐवजी दोनच जोड्या असतात आणि एक जोडी ही बराच काळ आतमध्ये असते आणि ती वीस ते तीस या वर्षात बाहेर पडू लागते याला म्हणतात विजडम टेप मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट कम्स इन इन अप्रोप्रिएट डायरेक्शन अँड दॅट पोज इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरन्स बट दिस विजडम टेप इज ॲक्टिव्ह इन एप but it is not active or it comes in late age in human and that is why this is called as vestigial structure or vestigial organ the first example of the vestigial organ that we have already watched it is wisdom teeth why wisdom teeth actually it is a molar why it is called as vestigial organ because it plays active role in the apes but as they depend upon raw limbs but in humans this wisdom teeth it has lost this function why because now we are not eating any raw material that's why it comes or it appears or it erupts in late age and that is why wisdom teeth is a vestigial organ it is non functional in human but functional in x but this relates v and x it relates to human and x and it indicates that both of these animal have a common ancestor and common origin there are more than 100 vestigial structures that can relate us to the other organisms but obviously we are not going to learn them all we are going to learn only few so after wisdom teeth our second vestigial structure is vermiform appendix this vermiform appendix is present at the junction of large and small intestine it is present in all apes monkeys humans and rabbits apart from humans in all other animals it has a very very active function now what is that function so inside that vermiform appendix some bacteria are present and as all of you know that all these things they are herbivores and that's why they depend upon plants to obtain their food and in plants or in the leaves of the plant there is a material which is a form of sugar that is called as cellulose this cellulose is a very difficult material to digest and that is why to help this process of digestion the bacteria that are present in the body for appendix they help in the digestion of that cellulose and that's why the process of digestion becomes easier in this animals but in human beings now as we are eating cooking food we don't eat raw food generally we don't eat raw food that's why there is no any use of this vermiform appendix in human beings sometimes you might have heard that some people suffer the infection of this vermiform appendix and when those people suffer the infection that appendix it is simply removed by the surgeon but a human being can survive or he can live a healthy life even without that appendix but what is the point to say that appendix is present in apes and it is also present in human that means today appendix is active in all kind of apes and monkeys why because of their lifestyle and this appendix is useless it has no any function in human why because we do depend upon the bacteria that are needed to digest the cellulose manje cellulose digest karna sathi je bacteria avashyak asta tyachi aplyala avashyakta nahi karan ka tar apan already cooked food khato tya food madhe cellulose apop ka zalel asta weak zalel asta ki ते पुढे डायजेस्ट करण्याचं काम आपले डायजेस्ट प्रोसेस आरामात करू शकतो पण यातून साध दिसतं काय साध्य काय होतं तर काही काळापूर्वी किंवा बऱ्याच वर्षापूर्वी हे एड्स 
आणि माणस या दोघांचे अँसेस्टर कॉमन वी बोथ हॅड अ कॉमन अँसेस्टर अँड कॉमन ओरिजिनल ऑर्गन इट्स This telugu is present in all monkeys as well as it is present in humans. But before that, can you tell me what is the function of tail? This tail performs two functions in monkeys. First function, when monkey jump from one branch to another branch on a tree, this tail helps them to maintain their balance. And second, sometimes these monkeys they use that tail as they fix them. You might have seen that monkeys can hang themselves to a branch. They allow that tail. That means without tail, monkeys cannot roam easily on the trees. But this tail bone, that means this tail bone has an active function in monkeys. But this tail bone is also present in human, which is also called as coccyx. But if we compare the coccyx or tail bone of a monkey and human, we will find that tail bone in human is a rudimentary structure. Now this is again new word. What is the meaning of rudimentary structure? The asaika the rachana, asaika the snayu, ki asaika the organ. So nashtam is a marga hai. It is on the way of the degeneration. That is called as rudimentary. Now question is that why this tail bone is rudimentary in human? Answer is simple. Monkeys need it because they live on trees. They need to maintain their balance. Upon the view of the world, after all, after balance maintaining their jigger is not there. And in that way, in the course of evolution, we started losing our tail. And finally, we have completely lost our tail. But only the tail bone, to which the tail is attached, only that part is remaining. And that is why this tail bone is vestigial structure. But this fact indicates that of the presence of tail bone in all monkeys and in human. It indicates that before several generation, both of these animals, or all apes and all humans, they had a common ancestor and we had a common origin, and that is why this vestigial organ support the theory of evolution. अतः तुम्हें ऐसी कल्पना करें चाहिए कि दो मार्ग से, जो तुम्हारे वेस्टिजल ऑर्गन समझना अवश्य थोड़ा सा दुखोरी, दो मार्ग से, यानी दो बार करें, धारदार सुबह, एक मार्ग सर्द तो आपने कर चुके सुबह ऐसा वापर करो, तो दूसरा मार्ग से नहीं मात्रा आपने सुबह बहुत ही ठ दहा वर्षान ज्या जो मानूस सुगरा सतत वपर करते सुरा मात्र चांगल स्थित अजु ही धार अशार लगाती ज्यासा ने तो लोखंडी सुरा कुछ तरी घेन गेला होता तो सुरा जो तुम्हें दह वर्षान बता अवस्था का बरासा गंजुन तुटन फुटन गेला तो नष्ट होने मार्ग होता है थोड़क जी गोष वपरत नसते ती का होते नष्ट होने जाते आता अपन थोड़ा सा साइंटिफिकली बोलते वैन एवर कंडीशन अराउंड द लिविंग इन चेंजेस देन सडनली अ न्यू ऑर्गन दैट कैन बी यूजफुल फॉर दैट टू एडजस्ट दैट सराउंडिंग इट इज नॉट टेबल ज्यादा एखाद प्राणा के आजूबाजू की परिस्थिति अचानक बदलती अचानक एखाद ऑर्गन तैयार हो सकते सो वॉट एपन्स द ऑर्गन दैट इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट और द टिश्यूज दैट आर ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट दोज टिश्यू स्लोली स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग दैट मीन्स दोज एनिमल्स ऑफ दैट पार्ट स्टार्ट इवॉल्व एंड एक्जैक्टली अपोजिट ऑफ सपोज दैट द चेंज सराउंडिंग इज सच दैट नाउ दैट पर्टिक्युलर टिश्यू और दैट पर्टिक्युलर ऑर्गन इज ऑफ नो यूज मजे अचानक परिस्थिति अशा प्रकार बदलती कि एक विशिष्ट टिश्यू का क्या विशिष्ट ऑर्गन अपने आता उपयोग रही नहीं है तो तो टिश्यू क्या तो ऑर्गन अचानक सुधा नष्ट होता है इन द कोर्स ऑफ एवोशन इन मेन इयर इट स्लोली स्टार्ट डिजन विच इज अ वेरी वेरी स्लो एंड ग्रैजुअल प्रोसेस तसे जो वेस्टिजल ऑर्गन है कि जे अपने मे कारण अपन ऑर्गन का उपयोग बंद के लिए हलूह नष्ट होता है तुम्हें जर अजु एक लाख वर्षा नर बेलबोन कि विजडम टीथ कि बगित अपेन्डिक्स ये कदाचित अपने मे नुद्धा पा सग गोषी का दर्शवता कि का ही वर्षा पूर्वी अपन एड्स एकमेक का हो रिटेड होते अपना एंसेस्टर एक थ्री वेस्टिजल ऑर्गन्स वेस्टम टीथ अपेन्डिक्स एंड टेलबोन अलॉन्ग विथ दीज थ्री एक्जाम्पल्स इन यू बुक टू मोर एक्जाम्पल्स आर दिखा वन इज बॉडी हेयर्स एंड सेकेंड इज Years. Now it is your task to find out that why this structure has become vestigial in human. You can simply Google it and you can find out the answer. I will tell you what is the definition of vestigial organ. Actually, I will tell you two definition. You can write either that will find easier. So first definition: the degenerated, underdeveloped, useless organs that are present in the body of an organism are called as vestigial organs. What is the meaning of degenerated? The organs that are on the way of disappearance because they are not used, or they don't have any active function. Those organs are called as degenerated organs, or organs that are not developed, underdeveloped organs, and that's why they are useless. Those organs are called as vestigial organs. And second definition: the organs that are non-functional in one organ, but do have active function in other organs. Those organs are called as vestigial.